Hi, my name is Yong Chol Jung, uh, also known as Imt in game. My job is uh, assistant coach and a data analyst. Imt is my nickname in high school. It stands for image trainer. So I loved playing basketball back then and I always imagined playing basketball even if there was no ball. So uh, I, I trained many moves in basketball even without balls. <laughs> so my uh, friends and teachers call me, you train uh, imaginary, with an imaginary ball. So <laughs> that's the reason why I called, I was called as image trainer. Hint. I really loved uh, science. So actually my grades in middle school was really good. Actually I love science as much as I play in computer games. So I decided to uh, be a scientist in middle school. My parents and teachers fully supported me to study science, so I went to the science high school. I was interested in biology, especially. Yeah, and I decided to go to the college, and I majored in neuroscience. So I studied neuroscience in graduate school. I finished my uh, doctoral thesis, and still I, I'm very interested in the kind of neuroscience and, you know, artificial intelligence. So I, I, I really wanted to adopt that kind of uh, stuff in esports also. I was studying how the animals can behave in specific situations. So uh, that's really helpful too because uh, every player playing with their hero with uh, specific patterns. So basically, uh, uh, I can recognize that patterns and I know how to uh, analyze that kind of pattern and you know, extract the data from their play. As far as I know, uh, I'm the only doctor in Overwatch League. I'm not sure, but <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone else? <laughs> yeah, I'm very, I think I'm very unique because I'm not a, a pro gamer. I was not a pro gamer and I was just a, you know, your scientist. So I think it's very unusual. I was born in Daegu, South Korea, but uh, I moved to Gwangmyeong right after my birth. My parents is always my uh, greatest supporters. When I was a kid, they described me as playful. My first game was StarCraft. Yeah, definitely. My cousin showed me how to play and I love the strategies that can be used in that game. So every uh, famous player used astonishing strategy and I love to watch that strategy and I, I really wanted to do that by my own. Actually my uh, dream in elementary school was a pro gamer. So uh, I loved uh, StarCraft gamers such as Slash Boxers the marine or yellow. I think that tragical thinking helped me coaching in Overwatch too. One day my, uh, my girlfriend wanted to play Overwatch because of the pink diva. So that's the reason why I started playing Overwatch with my girlfriend. Uh, but first time I felt really dizzy, so I only played Bastion <laughs> because you can stand in one spot and <laughs> you don't have to move, right? So I think that my English is very academic English because <laughs> I had to learn my, you know, you know, textbook was all written in English. But uh, I'm not sure that my you know, everyday conversation is that natural. <laughs> uh, still, uh, it's very unbelievable for me because I played Overwatch as my hobby in my uh, graduate school. Uh, and one day, uh, I felt like uh, I really want, wanted to know how the strategy of Overwatch is going. So uh, I, started, I started to search uh, the YouTube, YouTube videos that who can uh, explain that strategy in Overwatch. I found that, well, I, I can do that. So I started to uh, you know, analyze the strategies in Overwatch games and I, uh, made, I made a bit of videos and I uploaded in YouTube. I analyzed these strategies and how, how you think about this. 
uh, I believe that many people love that uh, anal analysis. And thankfully, uh, you know, the general manager Nuggets and Pavand found that videos. So yeah, that's how I how I get in here. <laughs> I started my coaching uh, when I was in Korea. So I had to communicate with players with on in online. So it was really difficult to communicate. Uh, I was not able to see their face. But now, I think it's get better. So they made me comfortable. And also uh, in this position, this job, uh, my parents, at, at first time, my parents worried about me because uh, you finished your, your doctoral degrees and your major in your science, but why would you, why you want to go to esports field? I, I uh, explained my vision and what I want to do in esports field with my uh, techniques, and they understood and they fully supported me. I admire my parents, and my parents believe me. I'll give the uh, youngs who, who will who want to become uh, coaches or players uh, that um, love the game first. Maybe uh, you can communicate your thinking about that game with others. That is the most important thing I, uh, I think.